Good afternoon, welcome to Pages. My name is Jessen Lowe and here with me are two guests, Vanessa Chin and Desiree Goh. Today we'll be discussing the book Under One Sky. Not the entire book of course, but in particular the story Miscalculation written by Malan. Basically, it is a story of a young girl's alternative interpretation of a math assignment. Alright, so let's jump right in. Desiree and Vanessa, I need both of you to tell me the answer to a simple math question. Alright, but to play safe, I'll give the both of you calculators. Vanessa, I need you to punch in 2 times 7 and okay. Desiree 7 times 2. What are the answers? 2 times 14. 14. You're both 14, right? Okay, so what do you think of Janani's alternative interpretation of her math assignment? 7 times 2 equal to 14 instead of 2 times 7 equal to 14. Is it acceptable since they both get the same answer? Share your views on it. I think it's very much acceptable because whatever way she went around getting it, she still got the answer. And it's not like she made a mistake with the formula, it was just the, not the placement of the numbers, so it was quite stupid to me. So you're angry, right? Yes. Is it because of the Singapore's uh, rigid education system? Yeah, I, think you're angry it, I think it definitely plays a part in the situation. Alright, so what about you Desiree? I think it's definitely acceptable and it's quite ridiculous for them not to accept the answer just because they switched their numbers around. Yeah, I think it's the end product that matters. Alright, so what are your thoughts on inquisitive children like Janani, Vanessa? I think it's great that children are inquisitive because they get to learn something from it, no matter how stupid the questions are. So I think all children should be inquisitive. So were you inquisitive as a child? I hope I was. I remember that my sister once asked my mom, like, does brown milk come from brown cows? <laughs> as stupid as that was, she still learned something from it, which is nice. Yeah, I agree. So, Desiree, if your child is as inquisitive as Janani and likes to ask questions, how would you deal with it? I think I'll definitely answer, try my best to answer all of my child's questions because I wouldn't want my child going around asking other people and getting um, different thinking from me if he or she grows up. and it might cause a lot of misunderstandings in the future. Like conflicts, right? Right. Alright, so discursive children should be encouraged to think out of the box. Vanessa? I think all children should because it helps them to learn something and it does instill creative thinking which is a very important kind of skill that we all should have. Yeah, because it helps us set apart from other people. Oh, so did mm -hmm. your parents like instill creative thinking in you? Yeah, my mom used to read to me every night. Like she read all the Harry Potter books from one all to seven. Of them. Yeah. Wow, great dedication. Yeah. And it's it's really great. It helps you to it helps you grow your creativity because well, Harry Potter is a very creative yes. book for sure. Stimulate your thinking. Huh? Yeah. All right. So Desiree, uh, if you have children in the future, how would you instill creative thinking in them? I think I would try to read stories to them and um, get them involved in not only like activities that requires you to stay at home, but maybe bring them out to the zoo or something. Brighten their yeah. horizon, right? Exactly. Alright, so final question to the both of you. Do you feel if we think differently, it would help to create, to instill creative thinking or end up getting hurt? Share your answers. I think that in our present society, we won't get hurt as much as like in the story, under, in, in the story, miscalculation, because I think that right now, people are more open to a different way of thinking, so you won't be be kind of um, hurt that much by thinking differently. Okay. What about you, Desiree? I think it will do both. It will instill creative thinking, of course, but at the same time, it might get you hurt because um, I don't think people have changed that much in their thinking. Like, um, you might get hurt just because you're different. Yeah, people will just treat you differently. Okay, so that's all we have on pages. Thank you, Desiree and Vanessa, for insightful sharing. This session is brought to you by Tomasic Polytechnic and Read Singapore. Once again, my name is Jessie Lowe. Goodbye and have a nice day.